difficult to watch. New tonight at 5, the tearful reaction from those who knew her and more on how her daughter is coping with the accident. We have two reports tonight, beginning with Eyewitness News reporter Kimberly Richardson. Kimberly? Well, Shade Charla Nash doesn't remember a thing about February 16th, the attack, the 911 call, or her first few months in the hospital. She has made remarkable progress. Her spirits are high, and experts say sitting down with Oprah for this interview was a major step towards freeing herself from the chains of trauma. I don't ask a whole lot about all my injuries. But for the first time, Charla Nash is talking about how she's coping after being viciously attacked by her friend's chimpanzee, Travis. The 200-pound animal nearly killed Charla in February as she tried to help Sandra Harold get her pet back in its cage. But by the time EMS crews arrived at the Stamford, Connecticut home, Travis had unleashed his fury. Police killed the ape. Charla survived and is recovering at the Cleveland Clinic in Ohio, where she sat down with Oprah Winfrey. Charla now wears a hat and scarf. She says she doesn't want to scare people. I don't touch it too much, but I kind of feel like I know that I, I had my forehead, and I think I, it feels like just patches of tape or gauze or covering, covering my face. But she says she's getting stronger and is finally ready to reveal her face. Doctors made a small hole through which she uses a straw to eat and drink. She hopes to eventually be able to breathe through her nose, which was made using skin grafts from her leg. She has no eyes. If she were able to see herself, that would be re-traumatization for her. Dr. Ani Kalaijian watched the interview. She's written several books studying the impact of trauma. Charla says she's not in pain, but more importantly, not angry about what happened. There's no time for that anyway, because I need to heal, mm -hmm. you know, not, not look backwards. She sounds very hopeful in that she has released the anger. That's very important, because as much as the person carries the anger, the poison is within them, so their healing is compromised. Which Charla refuses to let happen, a woman with great poise, and remarkable strength. I'm the same person I always did. I just looked at her. <laughs> Incredible. Charla says another reason why she did this interview was to warn people again these exotic animals, chimpanzees, should not be kept in residential areas. Diana, back to you. Yeah, Kimberly, she certainly has amazing spirit. Hard for those of us who don't know Charla Nash to witness the damage to her face, even harder for her friends and co-workers. Eyewitness News reporter Nina Pineda is live in Stanford with their emotional reaction. Nina. Diana, this industrial park on the south side of Stanford is filled with auto body repair shops, and Charla Nash was one of the guys. Her friends are so relieved to see that she can walk and talk, and they are grateful they can hear from the Charlie they all love. Yes, yeah, it's pretty bad. Time, she looks hopefully. It's a lot better than I thought. Charla Nash's friends watching her courageous interview on Oprah in our news van see her glass as half full, not half empty. She's a fighter, and I'm not surprised one bit. Everybody I know has prayed for her all the churches and everything. They know her as Charlie. She worked at the tow shop next door for Sandra Harold, the owner of Travis the Chimp, and everyone was close friends. Billy Parker says Brianna, Nash's daughter, who's a high school senior in Stanford, is doing well. Yeah, she seemed like she was, you know, hanging on there. I think, you know, inside it's hurting her a little bit, but she's, she's holding on. I think she's holding on for her mom, so she, you know, she doesn't want her mom to, uh, you know, understand, think she's, you know, upset. At the home where her mom was mauled, Sandra Harold wasn't available to talk to us about Charlie's astounding recovery. She's being sued for $50 million on the grounds she was negligent and reckless for lacking control over the wild animal she owned. Nash helped care for the chimp, but for some reason it attacked her. It's a major improvement compared to what she was after the accident. Even for a tough mechanic, seeing Charlie's face for the first time was hard to swallow for Donald Parker. He began to cry as she joked, and he could see the old Charlie was still there. No, everybody knew me. I was like a dog lady. I'd like wear a like, lady. Yeah, I'd wear my snowsuit, my winter coat, and my ski hat on my head. I wish her all the luck in the world. All the luck. She has a long road ahead of her, but people who know her well say if anyone has the personal fortitude to overcome such a life-altering catastrophe, it is Charla Nash.
We're live in Stanford tonight. Nina Pineda, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.